All right, time to talk about presidential politics tonight. Hillary Clinton reveals her serious strategy, and a new challenger to Donald Trump may be emerging for Iowa voters. Plus, the Donald now says he wants money to take part in the next GOP debate. Of course, it would go to charity, but the m number is very sizable. Political analyst Dr. Jason Johnson is here. Now, is he really asking for $5 million from CNN to show up at the debate? I, I, I mean, Donald Trump knows how to make money. Uh, he knows how to keep the attention on himself. And and I wouldn't, I don't think he's lying. I think if CNN would pay him $5 million to show up, he would actually take the money. The other he has day, demonstrated consistently that he doesn't need the these debates and he doesn't he really need any sort of formal story, setup to make himself a strong candidate. Let's talk about that. He really is the Teflon Don. It doesn't yes. matter what he does. He mocks reporters. He says the black pastors are going to endorse him. They don't. I mean, can anything take him down? No, no, Denise. Honestly, I, like I said, I think Trump is real. I don't think he's going to win the nomination, but there's nothing that his supporters ever find offensive. I mean, he can say racist, sexist, homophobic, no, ableist. He insults veterans, and Republicans still support him. So I don't think he's going anywhere anytime soon. Someone's going to have to take this nomination from him. He's not going to implode. Let's talk about Ted Cruz. He is surging in Iowa, the first caucuses. Uh, does he have a chance? I think Ted Cruz has a great chance. I, I believe long term, this is going to be a race between Marco Rubio and Ted Cruz. Ted Cruz consistently ranks high in everyone's second choice voters. In fact, remember, Donald Trump said he will take Ted Cruz as his vice presidential nominee. So a lot of Trump supporters like Ted Cruz, and if they think he's more electable, he's got a chance. We've seen Carson dropping lately. What is he doing wrong? Or what are the others doing right that he's not doing? I think it's other people are doing things right. Uh, I think Ted Cruz is doing things right. I think Marco Rubio is doing things right. I think Donald Trump has continued to stay strong. I always thought Ben Carson was a joke. Um, I mean, I think a lot of people supporting him, it's a protest vote against President Obama. It's a protest vote against the administration because he has no substance. And I mean, all these other people who are running, I think, have a lot more substance and legitimate backgrounds to be president than Ben Carson. Let's talk about our governor. Uh, stuck at around two, three percent in the polls, and he is really taking it to Donald Trump, saying, you know what, this may not be strategy, but I just don't think this is our guy, right. and I'm going to state it publicly and emphatically. Look, somebody has to be the fall guy. You know the action movies in the 80s, the person who falls off the bridge with the villain? Okay, that's what John Kasich wants to be. Somebody is going to have to take out Donald Trump, and he thinks, look, I may not be able to win, but if I can stop Trump, I will gain the appreciation of the establishment Republicans in D.C., and maybe that'll help me out. Vice President? I think, I think that's very much the kind of thing that John Kasich is thinking about. Okay. Who do you think will be the last man standing for the Republicans, and how do you think they'll fare against Hillary? Because obviously she's a shoe in Hillary Clinton's going to beat Donald Trump. Hillary Clinton would beat Ted Cruz. The only person Hillary Clinton would have difficulty with is Marco Rubio. And I don't know that Marco Rubio has the gravitas. I, I, I think he's smart. I think he's engaging. I think he has a great backstory. But he also looks like a little kid, and he dresses like he got his suits from J.C. Penney's. And I don't think that has the, the kind of power and strength that you need to be president of the United States. Harsh. It's true. <laughs> I mean, he's, he's, he's not as impressive as Ted Cruz. He's not as impressive as John Kasich. And you have to look like an adult when you're running for president of the United States, not just an ambitious kid who thinks that this is the next thing on his resume. Let's talk Hillary. There's no, impl there's no impediment in her way. Right. There's Nothing. no impediment. No. Bernie Sanders. Emails, Bernie Sanders. Hillary Clinton could get caught in some huge, horrible scandal tomorrow. She could be stealing candy from babies, <laughs> taking Christmas gifts. She's still going to end up being the nominee. And she has so much structural support behind her that, again, I think only a Marco Rubio, if he can really grow into this position, would end up stopping her. Well, you've seen his spots, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, his spots are great. They're I, talking directly about terrorism. Yes. Us, yeah. them. Yes. Us. Our way, their way. Problem with Marco Rubio is it's not going to be about terrorism in two or three months unless we have another Paris. It's going to be about things like immigration. It's going to be about things like how committed are you to the Republican cause. That's where he loses out to Ted Cruz. Cruz has already gone after him about immigration. Cruz has already gone after him about uh, where he stands on subsidies for orange farmers and things like that and sugar farmers. I think Rubio has a problem with that Tea Party base that still wants someone who's a true believer. When do we get down to a number of candidates right. we can count on two hands? In the Republican Party. I think after not, Iowa? Not until Super Tuesday. Wow. David, I, David I'm telling wow. you, I, I don't think until Super Tuesday. I think we're going to have six or seven people until Super Tuesday. There's too much ego and too much money to be made still running for office. Well, that's two hints. Right. I'm okay with that. Yeah. <laughs> it's the 12 and 14 that I have trouble with. Yeah, right. yeah that, that's too many, and it makes the debates too long. All right. Thank, thank you so much. Thank Always you. great talking to you, Jason. The first